Hello guys, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Ignore my door. Um, but you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behini. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, hey boo, what do you do? So today, um, I'm here looking like this because we're going gro grocery shopping. Um, I'm gonna do our monthly grocery shopping or three weeks grocery shopping sometimes it doesn't last for a month sometimes it does um but we're going to do a huge grocery shopping mostly african food this time um today is the day that we're doing african food and i'm excited i haven't had african food in a long time so i figured that it was time to do that so we're going to be doing that we're going to be going to town buying a few stuff um so i'm taking you guys along showing you guys um how i do that what i do what i get and then we'll come home and then we'll do a huge grocery tree hall um, and then that should be it so yeah if you're excited for this video please keep on watching if you um, if you're not already subscribed please subscribe okay subscribe for you for for me for me <laughs> subscribe for me my love um, I'd love for you to be a member of the family and yeah without further ado my loves let's go because I'm running out of time it's midday um, and I want to go and be back soon so yeah let's go yeah let's go let's go guys oh I almost forgot, forgot my press See? Okay guys, so <clears throat> the very first stop that we're going to is the Haitian market. That's what they call it, Haitian. But it's actually um eh, eh, Korean. Yeah, Korean. Uh -huh. It's Korean, like an Korean. Asian, it's like an Asian shop. So they sell um Asian food. And funny enough, Asians have very similar food to African food. They literally eat the same fish, tilapia, they have almost everything. Um, but if you go to an American shop, you will barely find real like African stuff. They have plantain. You guys will see when we go inside. So that's the very first stop that we're going to. They don't have parking. <laughs> so we had to come and pack at a different parking lot. So I'll quickly go into the shop, grab a few stuff um, with you guys and then yeah, let's go. So guys, um, I was saying that if you're not careful, you're mistaking their plantain for banana because their plantain and banana is literally the same. Oh, okay. I think I see plantain. Let me show you. So look at this, guys. Look at this and look at that. It's not so different. It's not so far away from each other. That's what I was trying to say. You have to be very careful with that. So guys, usually over here what I get is fish because they have um they have to, they have like a wide range of like different kinds of fishes which I already showed you guys um, so over here this is what I get I get fish um, and then I get some spices you know I get some Asian stuff sesame oil you know those basically things that um, like plantain just what I showed you guys um, and then we're gonna move to the next African shop to get like proper African food like proper Ghanaian food so I'll show you that also in a bit um, but yeah I couldn't talk earlier because there were quite a lot a lot of people here so um, that's why but yeah I'm, I'm just wrapping up with the fish and then we'll go and get other stuff this is what happened when I think about you 
Thank you. Feelings, yeah. I still reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, bye, man, bye. I wanted to bye, be bye. different, yeah. Waiting on the time, get some time for a different breath. Who is that? YouTube. Oh, yeah. what do you do with it? YouTube videos. I do vlogs. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing adverts for your shop. My name is Minina Ona of Hattian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Minya fish. Um, fish na a couple, 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 couple. But fruits, fruits, they hang in the best place to get food. Okay. Into fruits in Meiji or different place, somehow. Okay. Uh, but magic, magic, the things that I have to do. Um, so guys, huh. I am back in the car. Matter of fact, I'm actually at the next shop right now. Now the next shop, let me tell you guys. I put some. I put my headphones in my ears because there was so there were so many people in the Haitian shop, and everybody was just looking at me. And for the most part, it's only Asians. Okay, Asians. For the most part, it's only Asians um, that were in the shop. And I don't know if there's no one who does YouTube around here, like who holds a camera like this because mm. Massachusetts, Worcester, what do you do? There's no vlogger in Worcester. Um, yeah, <laughs> whatever. So right now I'm at the next shop. I um, The next shop is called Kumasi. That's actually the name of the shop. It's called Kumasi. It's an African shop. They sell strictly African food. Um, she's a nice woman. I don't know if she's comfortable with being on camera, but I'm still going to take the camera in and take you guys around, show you guys a few of the things that she sells, as well as the things that I will buy. So, yeah. In let's another way, girl, you are advertising the I'm advertising for her, right? She's in Worcester. If you're in Worcester and you're looking for a good African shop, you probably know her already. But yeah, if you're in Worcester, check out Kumasi. Kumasi. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's go. Meba, Pazi. Right. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. So let's go. Mabre. <laughs> this place is only Ghanaians. Okay. This shop is just only Ghanaians. And so they'll look at me. See, the way Ghanaians act in Ghana, that's the same way they act in America. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> Just so you know, not all of them, not all of them. They be more nippy, but they be mostly yeah, the same. <laughs> I told you guys, this woman is nice. She's a nice woman. Um, <laughs> she's a nice woman. I told you guys. You see her. She's serving somebody right now. You see her. But let me take you guys around and then um, show you guys the things that I'm gonna buy. Let me actually take the headphones off because I'm comfortable here. You know. See, they have all of these stuff here. Okay. She has literally everything. She has Remy powder. She has everything. This is for food. So yeah. <laughs> I'm excited whenever I come here. I'm excited whenever I come here because um African food. African food is a vibe, okay? Okay, it's a vibe. So yeah, let me just shop, show you guys what I'm buying. Um, I definitely need some palm oil. Defo. This is a Freemasonry is a fraternal organization of the world. So, um, I wish I got a pen, to be honest. I move with the list. <laughs> I move with the list, guys. I don't go shopping without a list. I don't know how to do it. I'm such a visual person, I will have a list. I will have a list of things that I have to buy, you know? Okay. Guys, oh, I'm out of the African store. I got some malt to cool me down because this weather is crazy. When it's... Ooh. See, we came out at 1. It's 4.21. It's over a little over 4 hours. It's crazy but we're going home now um, I'm gonna get home in like three minutes and then we're going to do the grocery haul part because that's the big part because the things the car is literally full though. the car is full so I am back home now um, I'm in the kitchen the things are all over for the most part it's gonna be African food Ghanaian food I'm from Ghana so if you're watching this video and you don't know where I'm from I'm from Ghana so for the most part this video is going to be showing you guys African food grocery haul you know just a little something something okay and then over here I have a big box of Fanti Kenke you guys saw that Fanti Kenke 
it's an African food, fancy food. My husband is fancy, so it's just right that we have fancy kinky at home. Um, and this, I'm a shanty. I'm, I'm proud, a shanty though. You are, you are very, very proud, American. Okay, but I'm also happy. Um, to be married to a fancy because I've always loved fancy. I love their language, you know. This is, um, I think this box comes in 2014, I think 12 or 14. It's either 12 or 14. But it's just fancy ginky, good stuff. C could last for about two weeks, three weeks ish, depending on how much we eat it, to be honest. Yeah. And then in this bag right here, I have some palm oil this is zomi so zomi is palm oil in ghana it's actually the best type of palm oil if i do say so myself um this is the one that i know zomi is the is like grade a palm oil basically um so yeah we have a bottle of that a gallon of that we usually don't use i mean i don't always cook african food so this should last for a month sometimes even a month and over i think i have leftover palm oil from like three months ago you know and this stuff doesn't go bad that's one thing about african food for the most part a lot of them can stay like can just stay for a long time i don't know how they do it but it just it just it just works in here i have two cans of inkulenu you guys know inkulenu 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 if you're a Ghanaian, obviously you would know inkulenu but inkulenu is canned palm kennel yes this is fresh palm fruit extract so this is used to make a benkwai a benkwai in english will probably be called palm nut soup palm nut soup yeah palm nut soup so this is used for palm nut soup usually one um, can make like a giant pan of palm nut soup so i would even use like half so this can make two soups this can make two soups so this for a month perfect perfect perfect, perfect. and then here i have a goosey um, I honestly just got a goosey because I want to make a goosey stew. I want to try and make a goosey Nigerian a goosey stew. I didn't want to say for my husband to hear. I usually like to surprise my husband with food, you know. Um, but I said it, so whatever. He knows. He knows what we're gonna do. But yeah, a goosey. <laughs> but a goosey, a goosey, a goosey. A goosey, um, for obviously a goosey stew or a goosey soup, um, the Nigerian one. I'm not Nigerian, but yeah. And also, a goosey can be used for kontomri or spinach stew if you're mm. from here, if you live here. Spinach stew, we call it kontomri stew back home. We use this. You can use egg as a substitute if you don't have this. Um, but I haven't had this in a long time, so I'm like, you know what? It's just right that we have this, so I bought one of that. And then and then in this bag right here i have shrimp powder so this is shrimp powder for shito if you know shito um shito is um i think it's a condiment it's more like a condiment that you add to food you can usually add it to like it's like a side side stuff that you add to like kinky like a kinky that i showed you guys um, you can have it with rice, you can have it with jollof, you can have shito with everything to be honest. So I'm going to be making some shito for the next few weeks. So I got that. And then I have some tom brown. Tom brown is one of my favorite breakfast dishes. So I got that as well. I have custard powder. Custard powder guys, I haven't had custard powder since... I don't remember. I actually don't remember. It's been a long time. It's been years. So this should be fun. Um, but custard is, I think, a form of breakfast um, or snack. I don't know. But it's it's like a porridge type of situation. Really nice stuff. Uh, makes you feel like a baby. <laughs> and then I have some baked beans. Hence baked beans. Um, big, this particular baked beans, because this is the one that we use in Ghana. This is the one that is very like popular in Ghana. So I thought I would get one of that because, you know, Ghana... <laughs> And then I got some tasty tom. Tasty tom as well is um, it's a tomato mix. Tomato mix in Ghana. Tomato, tomato, tomato mix. Yeah, it's a tomato mix that we use in Ghana. So I got one of that as well. And then I have some seasoning powder. So this is Remy. Remy is a seasoning powder that we use in Ghana. I mean, obviously, a lot of you guys that are watching are from Ghana, so you probably do know this stuff. But this is for someone who's who's not from Ghana or who doesn't know anything about Ghana. 
this is seasoning powder that we use in Ghana it's called Remy they have it in different flavors um, so yeah I got goats and chicken and then I have um, red hot pepper so this is in Ghana we we'll call this mekosam which is literally powdered pepper so this is powdered pepper um, I don't know what else goes into it but I just know that it's very potent powdered pepper this stuff is very strong when you put it in your food just a little bit of this um, could get your food looking like um, I mean tasting very spicy um, I think the one that they have here that you can compare to this is chili powder or chili powder flakes or ch chili flakes whatever they have that one that they have um, but this is very strong okay this is very strong so you just need a little bit and this is also used for like shit or stew soups whatever you want to use it for yes you can use it for soup if you're wondering okay and then I have um, fish powder fish powder goes with the shrimp powder for the shit or situation um, and then also I have some salad cream this is Ghana salad cream I mean it's everywhere but this is the one that we know in Ghana so it's a hen salad cream um, this is really nice like it. this is Ghana bread this is nice and soft and Ghana bread is usually very heavy you know full makes you full this stuff so we got that as well we have some banku mix this is banku mix for banku banku is banku for my Ghana people but for my not Ghana people banku is like um hmm, I can't compare banku to in, in America I honestly don't know but it's just a mixture of corn dough and cassava dough that gives you um, like a round ball kind of thing that you can eat with stew soup um fish you know chicken stuff like that if i eventually make some in the vlog and you haven't seen it before you will see it but that's what that is and then i also have some more seasoning powder this is maggi maggi cubes we use this to season food in ghana very good stuff this is my favorite thing for seasoning food um you just you just need this stuff and your food is okay right and then over here i have fufu powder this is a big bag of fufu powder this is just for making fufu um fufu is like banku but with a different mixture this has cassava um and plantain so this is a mixture of cassava and plantain that has been turned into powder but back home you have it in a fresh state but over here you have it in a powder state so yeah we have that and then guys i have some um goat meat see goat meat and 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 yeah i think this is all goat meat i have some goat meat in here as well you get this from the african store um, but if you want to get it from like here here you need to go to the farm you know the farms where they sell the actual goats where they cut it you know all of that stuff but if you want to get um just a regular degola one you can go to an african store and you'll get some of this we have some more um this is cow meat i have cow meat here cow meat here and then i have who okay this is this is um hmm, what do they call this stuff they call it towel in ghana but it's a part of it's a part of the cow um oh i'm not so sure i'll google it i'm not so i don't know the word so i'll google it and put it on the screen but that we call it towel in ghana so it's it's just a it's like a it's meat um it's a part of the cow like i said so it's it's meat and then i have some cassava leaf so cassava leaf because my husband has lived in liberia before um he's lived in liberia for like a short time part of his life but also a part of his family um are from liberia so this is a liberian food apparently i learned it from meeting him <laughs> so it's cassava leaf you use it for stew i don't know what else you use it for that's the only thing that i know that you use it for and then i have some corn dough so this is actual corn dough um because baby is about a 10 three months and when she's three months she's gonna start having cocoa mori cocoa if you're from ghana you know this my first daughter had it so it's just right that baby number two also has it this is this is a tradition in ghana all babies in ghana probably had this this is a very normal thing um but this is used for porridge if you don't know this is used for porridge um for people from ghana we use it for porridge we also use it for banku yes so the banku mix that i showed you guys 
this is actually the original stuff so this is what they um i don't know how they process this but they process this as well as cassava dough and then you get the banku mix that i showed you guys so yeah and then i have some yam so um first of all imani if you're watching this this is the yam that i was talking about this is yam this is different from yuca yuca is cassava and this is yam um, this is used, uh, we can have this way if ca uh, cassava leaves you, yes. You can also have, babe, stop with me, yeah, maybe cassava leaves you. Yeah. You, um, you can have this with tomato stew, you know, corned beef stew, so many things. And you can fry this and then eat it with some shito as well as some, like, some fried chicken or sausage, you know. This is just a vibe. I love fried yam. So, it's just right that we have some yam when we're doing African shopping, you know. So, I think that that is actually it for i was looking at my baby i'm sorry and i think the lightning is a bit off but you guys yeah deal i'm sorry but yeah i'm sorry but i think that that's it for african food like proper african food like ghana food i'm gonna move on to haitian market the first market that we went to so um over at the haitian shop i got some broccoli love broccoli love love broccoli um uh, i got some chai seeds this is chai seed um you guys know what chai seed is for um but also in general chai seed is just healthy stuff good stuff supports your cardiovascular health um free of cholesterol high in calcium high in fiber good source of iron so this is just good stuff okay use it for whatever breakfast however you want to use it and then i got some adobo adobo back home we say adobo adobo okay but here we call it adobo <laughs> so um this is from the brand badia um, i love badia spices by the way and then the last spice that i have from them is the complete seasoning this is a mixture of everything this has almost everything in it um so yeah my husband is fixing the door we have a problem with our door so if you guys hear any scratchy scratchy that's what it is and then i have some sesame oil pure sesame oil i love sesame oil and the scent um the flavor not scent the flavor that it gives your food especially your rice or your salads you know my stir fries sesame oil is asian stuff so it's just good stuff you know and then the next thing that i have is some milo so i have a big can of milo um this is just milo if you're from ghana you know but this is beverage this is used for like a morning beverage or uh, whatever time you want to have it to be honest um, but it's usually used for like breakfast so yeah the next thing that i have is some um, curry this is some curry powder i hope i'm focused okay i have some ginger garlic just regular spice stuff and then i have some udon um i think this is this is the lomin lomin noodles i have some shrimp you guys saw that i picked up some shrimp so yeah in this bag we have some fresh fish i'm honestly not going to take this out because you guys know how fresh fish smells like and like it's dripping of water and everything so i'm just gonna go put this in the sink but it's red fish and salmon fresh salmon and um and some other fish i don't know the name but yeah it's just fish and then i have a gallon of oil this one is canola olive oil it's a mixture of both yes canola olive oil blend so i've used canola olive oil i've used canola oil i have used olive oil so probably a blend will be good so that's why i picked it up but i've never used this particular one before so yeah but it's good stuff I, I i'm sure it should be good stuff and then i have and then i have some plantain and then the last thing that i have from the like african stroke asian haitian shop is a big bag of rice ooh, ooh, ooh. this one right here it's not a big bag of rice um this is a medium 25 pounds this is the 25 pound jasmine rice i love jasmine rice um i'm used to eating jasmine rice so that's the only thing that i buy but yeah 
so that's it for all um the Hadrian shop also for the african store now we're gonna move to the american store where i got um just few a few regular stuff i have some bagels so i have two of this um i love bagel i love a good bagel burger if you've watched my video what i eat in a day if you've watched my what i eat in a day video then you would have seen that um i love bagels so yeah i have some bagels and then i have some grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes however you prefer to call it and and then over in this bag i have some bell peppers this is not green this is yellow orange and red bell pepper um, i have a bag of apples love me a good apple I have here some shallot shallot onions yeah i think that's what this is called um this is spring onions this is spring onions not shallot i think some people call it shallot onions hmm i don't know Co don't quote me on that but this is spring onions from from what i know then i have some chicken because why not <laughs> because why not i love chicken so i have some chicken i have chicken drumsticks um i have two of that that should that should be good with um the fish so that should be good for a whole month and then i also have some chicken wings love me a good chicken wings okay i love party wings chicken wings whatever wings i just love chicken wings <laughs> i have um the 18 18 grade a large eggs i just know that it's 18. this is not the dozen this is a three pack one love this i have two of that we're getting there we're almost done i'm excited <laughs> and then in this other bag i have some tomato sauce some regu and then i have some nature valley this is nature valley sweet and salty sweet and salty nut chewy granola bars love this stuff if you watch my what i eat in a day video i'll link it in the description box below though but if you've watched that you'll see that i love this stuff and then also this biscuit this is the lorna dune that's what that's what this is called okay um this biscuit is really nice it's a shortbread cookie very nice my husband loves it as well so yeah then i have some ego this is some ego home style waffles love this for my breakfast i literally have this like almost every day and then i have some malt apple juice love me a good apple juice or white grape that's my favorite and then i have some storage bags these are just like regular zipper bags um, i use this to store food also i use this to store my fish i don't like to store fish in like the regular bag that they give you at the shop so i wash my fish and salt them I, I give them like some salt some spice and then i put them in the fridge so when i take it out i know that it's ready to go and also i like section them so when i take out one bag i know that this bag is for just one food you know just so i don't have to defrost my entire fish and then put it back in the fridge that's very stressful so i use these bags love them looks like we're almost done are we almost done or we're done we're actually done oh wow okay guys oh exciting i'm excited to have showed you guys all these stuff um so this is usually what our monthly grocery looks like sometimes we will do only strictly um continental food sometimes we don't do african grocery shopping um not for any reason in particular we just do not sometimes um but also sometimes when we feel like it we do and we go large <laughs> Um, so yeah we so also let me tell you guys grocery shopping for the whole month is what works for me I've been doing it for such a long time that I've gotten used to it I used to do it when I was living alone even before I got married bulk buying has always been my thing um, I'll never usually go in and buy one thing it doesn't work for me I feel like bulk buying is what works for me it helps me to save it helps me to know exactly what I eat during the month it helps me to know the kind of things that I don't want to buy so usually um i would know that this thing i didn't really eat it during the month so next month i'm not gonna buy it you know because it's not something that i really fancy but also yeah i love bulk buying i love buying my things um 
for the whole month if we don't do for the whole month we'll do for two weeks or three weeks um, but we never go in every day to do grocery shopping that's very stressful that to me i can't do so if you do that that's okay but this is what i do this is what i've always been doing and i thought i'll share that with you guys so yeah total um in total all these things cost a little over three hundred dollars so that's that's okay you know that's okay so every time we know that for the month this is what we should budget for grocery and then we don't have to go back in and buy things every day so i thought i'll share this with you guys comment down below if you like it give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for coming to grocery shopping with me as well as seeing the things that i buy or things that i bought for my home um for the next month so yeah i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video i'm gonna link a few more videos in the description box below so you can also um watch a few more stuff if you're interested but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye <laughs>